you guys, John from Eastman Hot Rodder, and today we are at Paradise Dragway for the Shell and Go. Um, it was supposed to be a really nice shiny day today, and now it's kind of looking a bit overcast, but uh, they're going to be warming up this track pretty soon. Uh, so we'll start by checking out this nice little Camaro here. Rally Sport package. Hugger orange. Looks like he's starting, starting to put a nice cage in. He's got the main hoop in. Six-speed car. I wonder what's under the hood. If it's an LS or just a good old V8. Sharp looking car, mini tubbed. This is a uh, Paradise Dragway. You've seen it on, on Fast with Finnegan and stuff. Uh, it's an eighth mile track. It used to be a quarter mile. This is actually basically the driveway to the family's house. So it goes up there, after that it goes uphill. So you get a kind of nice natural slowdown. Swamp me today. I have to go check that guy out again because he wasn't unpacked when we first got here. The Moody Blue 56 Chevy Gasser. Nice clean car. Dual quads on a tunnel ramp, 427. Choke coins milled off. Looks like Fenderwell's headers from Speedway. They're a great fitting header. If you guys ever have to run Fenderwell headers for a big block, they're a good fitting header. Nice cage work. The 56s are pretty neat. The tail light opens up. Pulls down, I think, so you can put gas in it. Sits good. Pretty cool. You've seen the sister to this car, and Eastern Hot Rodder and Print, very similar setup. Twin turbo small block. It's a little faster than his old one. It's a nice little Mach 1. Gold leaf lettering on it. See the shifter. Yeah. Getting it all zip tied back together to be able to make it pass. The short fuse. A gas. Small block. That's pretty cool. A little 331 in Chevy. Please say it's for the claiming. Go, baby, go, it says on the dashboard. Big old aluminum pipe for a rear bumper. Old gas classes were required to have a rear bumper. You didn't have to have a front bumper. Pretty color on that Mustang. Scoop on the scoop. The fourth 56 Chevy I've seen here today. I have not seen a 55 Chevy yet. It's kind of strange. Let it up cool. Just about every time I am, it's a pretty regular at this track. Shoot back and wheelie bars, 620s styling. Another one you see every time you go to Paradise Dragway, the long arm of the law, Plymouth wagon. It's got twin scooped hood for the, uh, there's our old Cal Custom hood scoops. The Cal Custom was a little different than the Offenhauser because they had the the bolt-on flange on the inside, and uh, these are both functional. At least it's evacuating air, if not feeding that carburetor on that big old 440. Check out this rock buggy. Supercharged LS, it looks like, yep. Yeah. Color combination is pretty interesting. Look at those arms, man. That's a serious little rock climber right there. Four wheel steer too. Check that thing in. Single seat little monster. Cranberry red 70 Chevelle. Paint car sits up nice, fast back, four speed. I've seen a lot more Trinos lately. I don't know if it's because I'm looking for them or 
because my buddy Bill at Flat Pro Garage has them, or because there's just more of them coming out of the woodwork. Either way, that's cool. Check out this Polara convertible. That's it. Nice. This little 32 wood dash. Vicky. French tin taillights. 39 Ford. Teardrops. Cool little hot rod. Early Chevy. 32. No, 29 Chevy. It says according to the front plate. Small school pinstripe and stuff on it. First 55 Chevy I saw here today. It's getting outnumbered by the 56s, which is odd because usually the 56 is the one you never see anything of as a little. Super clean square body. 85, 86, somewhere in there. color combination with that cream color in the thing with the orange. Looks pretty good. A small block. There's even choppers here. This truck looks pretty stock on the outside. It looks even stock on the hood until you get closer. And actually it looks pretty darn stock on the hood. Still got stock manifolds of the crossover pipe. Other than the air cleaner, it looks like it's right on the hood. Change the wheels out, you'd have a stocker. Cool little truck. Another 55, but this time it's a Ford. Ghost Flames on there. A little custom line, which is their lower trim model. And right next to it is this really nice Mustang. I might see him go down the track today. Nittos on the back. We'll watch for it. These early Broncos are getting out of sight now. They ran these, to, I believe, 76 before they went to the Bronco 2 and then went back to the full size Bronco. They're neat little. Little uh, off road machines. And the new Broncos look a lot like them. We answered the Bronco call with a Blazer. First couple years of the Blazer, the whole roof came off. About 74, 75. This is the first generation. This is like, judging by the grill, it's a 72. They were just kind of clipped the doors off a regular pickup truck and stuck them on for a Blazer. Remember the trucks back then were just trucks. This is a pretty one. Nice cow hood on it.
official drag race here. They warm the track up by just letting the cars in the car show in the pits go make laps. We've got cool stuff like this Harley with the sidecar and this 54, 55 Chevy pickup truck. So these guys go around, drive up around, come on up and make passes to warm the track up.
beautiful Volks rod. Looking cool. Cheap, cheap, economical hot rod right there. Yeah. Love to build one.